hey guys welcome to my channel and in today's video i'm gonna teach you about what the forever loop is for so let's go ahead and click on the control section which is the orange color and get the forever loop out here um with it we'll need the start block i'm not gonna tell you much about it because it's just the start block what else could what it could be used for um so what you what i'm going to do to show you um i'm gonna drag um a block like the move block in it and we'll see what happens but first let me tell you um like the common use of the forever loop so the forever loop is used like all the time it it makes things go on forever well, it won't eventually go on forever because you will get annoyed with it once and you'll have to click the stop button. Well, whatever. Um, so yeah, the forever block usually makes something repeat multiple times. Like, not just once and then stop. Well, it'll just go on forever. So now let's test it out and I'll show you the difference between the forever block and the not forever block so just the regular move thing um let's decrease the number of steps uh, for a little bit because uh 10 steps will be too much now let's move the cat to the very beginning and now go ahead just click the start see the cat is like softly moving forward which will not happen if you just goodbye get rid of the forever loop um as you can see right now it is gonna move just like that it's gonna stop just move forward one step and stop maybe if you will increase this a little bit it's gonna move a little bit further like that but eventually this doesn't make a lot of difference between the five steps and a hundred steps because yeah it just makes a bigger step um so well actually you won't need you won't need the forever loop if you want to teleport from one place to another um yeah okay i hope this video was useful for you and you at least learned something from it um i guess bye see you in the next video